What's up guys, Darcizzle from Darcizzle Offshore here, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a secret bake that tackle and bait shops will not tell you how to do. We are gonna be making bonita strips or strip baits, and this is basically a free and very effective bait to use while deep sea fishing. I'm also gonna teach you how to rig it. Let's get right into it. Down here in Southeast Florida, we call this fish a bonita, but it also be can, call, can be called a little toonie, a false albacore, and there's, way, there's tons of different names throughout the world for this fish. But this fish makes a great strip bait, and we're gonna dive right into it. During our spring and summer months, these guys are covered throughout our coast. They are swimming all over the place, and when you're out there fishing for pelagics, they are more than likely to eat your bait, and they're fairly easy to catch. The thing with these fish is that they're considered a trash fish because they're not the best tasting in the world. But at the same time, uh, uh, you know, ex expert anglers don't like catching them all the time, so a lot of people throw them back. And you're making a mistake if you throw these fish back. They make excellent baits, and since you can't find them hardly in our wintertime months, this is the time of year to stock up on them in your freezer and make our bonita strips. So we're gonna dive right into this. First things first, you want a super sharp knife when you're handling these fish. Today, I'm using an edge sport fillet knife. This is basically an eight inch boning knife. You want something really stiff and sturdy so you can make these nice clean cuts. So let's dive right into it. We're gonna go right behind this guy's pec fin and make a clean cut straight down. Just like so. Then we're just gonna basically follow his backbone and we're gonna run that knife all the way down, just like you're almost basically filleting a regular fish. Make a tail cut right back here, straight cut. And then you're basically just gonna slab this guy off. Again, just like you would be filleting a dinner fish. And for me, what I like to do is I like to try and leave as much of the bonita meat as possible on the bonita itself. That way I don't have so much on the skin when we make our strip baits. So I'm just working my knife down, make our cuts and slab them off. Now we got a nice big old slab of bonita meat. And this guy is huge. This is a huge bonita. They come in all different shapes, shapes and sizes. You're allowed to keep them as big or as small as you want. And again, if you're catching a ton of them out there, especially during the summertime months, this is what you wanna do with them. Also, another key to success with bonita is once you catch them and you're going to use them for bonita strips, put them in a cooler and take care of them as you would any other fish that you're gonna eat for dinner. The more you take care of them, the better strips you're gonna make. So now that we got our big old filet of tuna off, of, of bonita off, we're gonna take our blade, same blade, and we're going to just start scraping off, taking off this meat, slowly but surely. We're gonna make a thin canvas. The key is you do not wanna cut through the skin on the other side. If you do, you're not going to be able to make a correct bonita strip. So just take your time, there's no rush, and it will take practice to get good at this. And if you do a lot of deep sea fishing, these bonita strips, are basically one of the best baits you could ever use when you're trolling out there. Everything loves to eat a bonita strip. It is the real deal. It actually tastes like a real fish. When the fish come up to it, it's highly durable and it will troll for hours if you properly brine it and take care of your bonita strip. And it's a lot more, again, a lot more effective. It gets hit by a fish a couple times. It'll stay on your rig compared to maybe a, a ballyhoo or a mullet, where if a fish hits that, you more than likely are gonna have to get it replaced and put out another bait. Now, as you can see here that I've removed a lot of the meat, and another great way to do this is just take your knife and go across the grain of the meat, but follow the way the meat goes on the skin. So basically from the tail to the head section is the way you wanna take the skin, the meat off the skin. You wanna go with the grain of meat, how the grain is flowing on the fish's skin. So this is the proper way to do it. We're just gonna make it a nice thin canvas, do that a couple more times, and basically what you wanna do is probably more than likely make it about an eighth of an inch. Again, a really thin canvas. Next step is to cut your bonita strips. Now this is gonna take a little bit of practice, but practice makes perfect, and they don't have to be 100% perfect. And I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean right now. So when you make your bonita strips, the head of the bait that attaches to the hook is going to be on the tail section of the filet. It's not going to be the head section. Reason being, again, the grain of the meat flows like this. So you want the water flowing over your strip like so, this way, not this way because it'll wash out. So the head of the bait will be up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut for the head 
And then you can make your bonita strips any length you want. You can make them as long or as short as you want. Another good tip is to make the size make the strip the size of the current baits that are flying out there, like flying fish and other baits that are out that you see out on the water. Now I made a cut, you can see right there, and that's where your sharp knife comes in. You wanna bevel the knife, like you just saw me do, a 30 degree angle, and you want the skin to overlap the meat. That is especially important when you are trolling with these baits, and I'm gonna show you what I mean in just a second. So do the same exact thing on the other side, bevel your knife, and you're gonna make it aerodynamic, kinda of like a surfboard you think about it just like so make a nice long strip bait and of course I can clean this up again with these edges right here we make it nice and clean and beautiful bait just like so up here by the head just remove some of that meat if it's laying over and the key again you want to make sure when you make these that the skin overlaps the meat this is how it's going to swim beautifully in the water. It's not going to twist. And that is our beautiful Bonita strip. Again, make it as long or as short as you want. Take it, put it in your kosher salt brine, lay the meat directly down on the salt like you just saw me do. Now we're gonna go back and make another Bonita strip. Same exact way, bevel the knife at a 30 degree angle. Once I've cut all my bonita strips, what I like to do is lay them out in this cardboard box and put a layer of kosher salt over them, just like so, with the meat up and the salt obviously on top of the meat. We're gonna stick these in the refrigerator and that's going to help them dry out and basically become like leather, make them super durable and get a lot of action in the water. So I'm gonna see you guys back out on the water and I'm gonna teach you how we like to rig the bonita strips on top of a pink sea witch, our favorite planer lure. Yeah, I was hoping to do it on the water, but uh, we actually rained this morning with that hurricane. So we're on the boat and I'm gonna show you to it real quick because I'm out of doing some work. Let's Hold do the it. camera real quick, Sizzle. So we have to re-dry those in the refrigerator in that cardboard. We, we freeze wrap them, okay? And, uh, and then we just keep them forever. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to rig it. Here's our strip. Uh, you can either put a hole in it uh, in, the, you know, in the house when you're making them or when you're out in the boat fishing. So I'm just gonna put a little hole in it uh, in the tip, run through with my bait breaker knife. And here is your sea witch, okay? I got a double hook rig. You can buy these, make these. Oftentimes I get them from uh, when I buy uh, double hook rig value and stuff like that. And this is what we call a sea witch. Pink is like the best color I like to use here in Florida. And you see us doing it all the time. In fact, I keep one on the rod all the time, all right? And I get these from Kraken Bait, a local uh, fisherman here who I really like to support, all right? Let me do it real quick. So I put a piece of copper wire here on the head. And I'm not sure if it matters if you do it this way or this way. Okay, I like to do it this way, but again, I don't think it really matters at all. Just gonna run that through the hole. I hold it like that. And just wrap that around the shank of the hook a bunch of times. You don't really need a lot of copper here. You just do short. All right, then you can do two, you can press this in like this and get like a little impression, you see, or I just do this. You see the hook's gonna come right, right about there. Boom, run it through. Boop. And then you run the other one down. You can see it's gonna go right about there. And then I'll just stick that through. All right. And you're basically done, all right? You see which is gonna come down like this. And there you go, you're all set. Now you're gonna put this in the water to make sure it runs straight. You know, lower the other side of the boat and see, see it? Then you're done, you're all ready to fish. Now, this is a standard bait that I use all the time, but you can also do this on a double hook rig under an Islander or a single hook rig. A single hook rig also works great for any sort of little chugger head like this. So you can use this at all sorts of great baits to catch all kinds of fish like we do, like you see in the videos. And the important part here, as opposed to just running this, fish is gonna bite this, taste meat, and then we'll come back. Not such a great chance of them coming back to catch this bait. Now we hope you guys use this free and very effective versatile bait out on the water to catch more fish. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.